Hello, my name is Arushi Bhargav and I'm 17 years old. I am a student at CCB India and have been learning ballet for seven years. I have been practicing point work for about four years now. And today I'd like to discuss how to select, prepare and tie your point shoes. There are a number of different brands out there that you can choose your point shoes from completely based on your preference. I personally have tried a few such as Sansha, Block and Grishko, but I find that Grishko work the best for my feet. You may have to try a few different brands to figure out which one works best for you. When going to buy a point shoe, you should keep a few things in mind, such as the point shoe should fit tightly on your foot. It should be snug, however, it should not be painfully tight. Neither should it be extremely loose, otherwise your foot will move inside the shoe causing injuries and blisters. Be sure, to, um, be sure when you try on a point shoe that your toes lay flat inside the box of the shoe and they are not overlapping. This will ensure that you have chosen a shoe which fits you well and will be comfortable while you are dancing. Another thing to look at to make sure that you're buying the correct shoe is to look at the heel seam, which is at the back. When putting on a point shoe and going on point while wearing it, the back shouldn't be baggy. If it is, it means your shoe is extremely loose and you need a tighter one. However, if it's too tight to put on, it is evidently very tight and you need a looser shoe. Another thing that you should look for is the shank which is the hard part at the back of the shoe this is this is extremely this is an extremely important part of the shoe as it provides support to your arch and your ankles and it varies in various hardness it varies from super soft to super hard in order to determine which hardness is appropriate for you it is a good idea to approach your teacher as they will be they will be able to guide you which hardness is appropriate for your arch and ankle based on the strength that you have. Once you have bought the perfect pair of point shoes, you will need to learn how to tie, uh, how to stitch the ribbons as well as the elastic in order to provide the support that you need while dancing. So, uh, in order to uh, cut your ribbon appropriately, a trick that I learned over the few years is that the appropriate measurement is from the bottom of your heel to the middle of your knee. This gives me ample ribbon to go around my foot once and once more to tie it at the appropriate place. Once you've cut your ribbon, to stitch, or the sh uh, to stitch it onto the shoe at the correct place, a trick you can use is to push this back seam of the shoe upwards towards the front, making a V right in the front. Here, where the V pinches off at the sides is where you should tie your ribbon. Uh, you should stitch your ribbon. You should stitch it here on both sides. This will ensure that your foot, um, the shoe is um, comfortable on your foot as well as it will provide you the strength that you need. Um, I generally also stitch an elastic at the back of my shoe to ensure this, uh, the shoe is more secure and to give the appropriate strength that I need. To do so, you can, uh, to do so, I generally start uh, stitching my elastic uh, in front of my ankle joint at the inside of my foot and a little over my ankle joint outside my foot. You can stitch your elastic wherever you feel comfortable, but this is what I generally like to do. Once you have sewn your shoe, shoes with uh, you've sewn the sh uh, ribbons and elastics onto your shoe it is important to understand how to properly tie them so before putting on a shoe you will be required to wear toe pads which are also known as ouch pouches they come in both silicone and cloth i generally prefer silicone as it provides more padding at the front to prevent uh, my foot from uh, getting injuries inside the hard shoe Another thing to keep in mind to prevent injuries is that your nails, toenails should be cut. They shouldn't be too long, otherwise they're prone to breaking. However, if they're cut too close to your nail bed, your skin can get irritated. So a good rule of thumb is to leave about one millimeter of nail growth around your nail and cut your nails accordingly. So uh, to wear point shoes, simply put your ouch pouch over your feet and 
simply put on the shoe. Be sure to tighten the drawstring right at the front, this drawstring right at the front to ensure that the waist of the shoe sits perfectly on your feet. Next, in order to tie your shoes properly, we're going to start with the inner ribbon, which is on the inside of my leg. I will go around my ankle, I will go around just above my ankle once and then a half around more so that my ribbon ends here at the back. Then I'm going to pick up the, out, the ribbon on the outside of my foot and similarly roll it around my foot, however keeping it over the previous ribbon. We do not want to create length over our shin, we want, it, we want the ribbon to be close to our ankle. So I will overlap it with the previous ribbon and go around once and half more so that it meets the previous ribbon at the back. Here I will simply tie two knots to secure the shoe. Once I've done that, I will have two ends left and we do not want these to be sticking outside. So there are two techniques to ensure that these are tucked in. One is that you can go from the front and tuck it under the ribbon like so, so that you're not, uh, so that your ends are not visible. Another technique to do is to lift up your ribbon and tuck the knot inside. This creates a cleaner ribbon look and your ends won't be sticking outside. If you buy a new point shoe, they will be extremely hard and you will be required to break into them before wearing it or while or before dancing. Um, what I like to do is to I like to soften my box a bit and to do so, I simply lay my uh, new shoe flat on the floor and simply apply pressure using my foot. This enables me to soften the box and I have more movement while I'm going from demi point to point. Another thing I generally do is I soften my shank a little to provide it shape according to my arch. So what I do is I generally use my hands and arms to push the shank backwards creating an arch at the back. You can also do this after putting on your point shoe like so and roll your foot to create the perfect arch um, for the shank according to your foot. Some ballerinas also prefer to darn their point shoes at the front to provide more grip. That is completely your preference. I do not prefer to do so, but a number of ballerinas do and it provides great support when you're on point. And you can definitely find these um, darning videos on online. And I think that is all you need to know about point shoes. Thank you so much.